What happens when the ratio in which your reacting elements are combined does not conform with the stoichiometric ratio? Let's find out using the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Here are three flasks, each containing one tenth mole of hydrochloric acid, labeled A, B, and C. The green balloon on flask A has 0.1 mole or 2.4 grams of magnesium. The yellow balloon on flask B has 0.05 mole or 1.2 grams of magnesium. And finally, the red balloon on flask C has 0.025 mole or 0.6 grams of magnesium. This table summarizes the mole ratios of the reactants. In flask A, magnesium and hydrochloric acid have a 1 to 1 mole ratio. In flask B, the ratio is 1 to 2. In flask C, the ratio is 1 to 4. What happens when you drop the magnesium into each solution? Note that the pressure and temperature are kept constant for all systems. We have a gaseous product. Hydrogen gas now inflates the balloons. The volume of each balloon tells us how much hydrogen has been produced. In flask A, some solid magnesium is left unreacted. In flasks B and C, all of the magnesium is consumed. The volumes of balloons A and B are more or less equal, while the volume of hydrogen in balloon C is much less. The balance equation for this reaction shows that one mole of magnesium reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid to produce one mole of magnesium chloride and one mole of hydrogen gas. In flask A, magnesium is in excess. The completion of the reaction depends on the amount of hydrochloric acid present. Hydrochloric acid is a limiting reactant. In flask C, hydrochloric acid is in excess. Magnesium is a limiting reagent. 